I'm going to do something that I've never done before with a pedal that packs in a clon circuit and two dumbbells. That's right, it's the Unobtainium from Crazy Tube Circuits. Now to your right over here you have the clon circuit. It's got its own little uh, mod switch and its on off switch is over here. This side is the dumbbell side which has two flavours of dumbbell amp. You've got the ODS which is the overdrive special I think and down is the steel string singer I believe. And you can also get an additional foot switch so you can switch between the ODS and the SSS on the fly. Pretty cool and also cute is that? Now, you may have tuned into this thinking Clon and Dumble are just for the likes of Stevie Ray Vaughan, Robin Ford, John Mayer, and maybe even Joe Bonamassa, but no, because I'll tell you who has a Clon on his board, Stone Gossard. That's right, he has it on his live board. I'll tell you who else likes Stevie Ray Vaughan's tone, Mike McCready. That's who. So what I thought I'd do is just to pick a random Pearl Jam live show and see how many of the live tones I could get out of just this pedal. Simple. So without further ado, let's see how close we can get. Now they open this particular show up with Long Road. Um, Eddie's actually playing it on a Les Paul, but I'm gonna stick with the telly on the in-between. So we've got the bridge and neck pickup here. Here's my clean tone. <laughs> And I'm using the Morgan MVP66 back there. I'm not going to touch any of the settings on that amp, okay? So that's the clean tone throughout. Not ultra, ultra clean. So a quick snippet of the target tone. And I'm using the clon side to get this. play is given to fly obviously Mike opens that and I've switched guitars out because these pickups are very similar to those firebird type pickups these are called sunbird by sunbear and I've moved over to the dumbbell side channel and we're on the SSS setting so with these settings a little bit more distorted there's no uh, modulation or anything in his live tone here's a little snippet of what Mike's playing and here's what we've got So when you dig in when the rest of the band come in. And staying on the dumbbell side of the pedal, we'll look at Stone's parts to give him to fly as well, right? So we've just gone over to the ODS side, which has a bit more gain, a little bit more mid-range with these settings. <laughs> Oh, it's just wonderful, isn't it? Really harmonically rich and great when you um, when you're playing lightly and when you're digging in. Now the next tune they play starts with Stone on his Les Paul and that is Once. What an awesome start to a gig this is. So I'm going to stay with the ODS setting on that side of the pedal but I've cranked the tone up because you hear it's really sort of twangy type of tone isn't it? So we've got... <laughs> Lovely mid-range, nice cutting tone, but you do have that top end. Now 
Now, if we look at Mike's parts, and I've got over to the SSS side of this pedal again, also going to show you the solo with the Clon boosting that um, amp side of the pedal, right? So first off, I'm on the left side of the pedal, and it's quite a twangy tone that he's got, really. <laughs> He doesn't actually play what he plays on the album, he's playing... And in the chorus, he doesn't actually play the... He doesn't play any of that, he stays on the D and plays... If we bang on the clon side of the pedal with these settings, we can do the solo as well. Check it out. Now, the next tune they go into, they do a little intro of Interstellar Overdrive. Now, I'm in, um, I've got neck and bridge pickup on the telly and I'm staying on the SSS side of the pedal. So again, you know, more headroom. It doesn't break up as quickly as the ODS side. Um, and it's brilliant for that sort of twangy tone that Ed has. <laughs> I've already set up the second channel because the next tune is Cordroy, right? They rock straight into that. Man, Oakland, you were spoilt this evening. channel is great for the other guys. If I go to bridge pickup and then just over to the clon side. Now I just want to show you the difference between the ODS and the SSS side. Let's start on the SSS side with these settings. The next tune they play is Throw Your Hatred Down, which is a tune they did with Neil Young on the Mirrorball album. So the SSS side sounds like this. And if we flick over to the ODS, we have... night and day but you just get a uh, different harmonic content different structure and um, you know a little bit more grit in there and that on its own isn't too bad for the solo tone <laughs> use that as a lead tone but if we bang on the clon with these settings so much sustain <laughs> Great fun. Now, next up, they play Quick Escape. I'm going to show you um, Stone's tone for this one. Um, we're on the dumbbell side of the pedal as well, on the amp side of the pedal, and there's uh, an emphasis knob on there, which I want to show you. So here's the first example, right, with it, the emphasis all the way back round to zero. <laughs> It's got that. 
know, not too bright. You know, it's, it's quite a, a nice dark tone. And this knob basically adds gain and adjusts presence and, and the low end uh, response before the overdrive. So when I turn that knob around to two o'clock, it's much brighter and it's much closer to the tone that we're after. <laughs> Last, but by no means least, is Dissident. This is the next tune that they play. So we've got the settings for both Mike and uh, Stone in this pedal. So Stone's on the right hand side using the Clon, and Mike is using uh, the Clon and the ODS together for his, his lead parts. And a quick addendum actually, because Stone's part is actually played like this. <laughs> not with those walking down notes. He doesn't do that. And nor does he play his, uh, the eighth fret here. Which is what I taught a little while back. So thank you very much to a couple of people who pointed out what he's doing. So allow me to play you out with Stone playing properly and Mike playing over the top. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.